Hello everyone, my name is Nanya and today I'm going to be showing you my project Shape Detection AI Oxford Internship. My full name is Ananya Shri Rajesh Kanna, age 11 years old. I study in the school Gems Modern Academy and I'm in grade 7. My location is Dubai, Bar Dubai. The reason I made the Shape Detection project is to show kids or adults with dyslexia that shape detection is not that hard and I have used this project to make it easier for them. The application I have used is Python and I've also used AI to make this project. Now I'll be sharing my screen to show you my project. As you can see, this is my code. First, I have imported some few libraries you will need in order to make this code. Then I have defined classify. Inside of this function, I have made variables called image gray contours. These are all used to read the file name to change it to grayscale, etc. Then I have used a for loop. Inside the for loop, I have used an if and else statement. I have also used if and else and elif statements in this. First, we are checking the length of the approx. If it's equal to three, then it will do the below steps. If not in else, we have put print no relevant shape detected. If the relevant shape is not there, then it will print no relevant shape detected. After that, we are making a canvas pack. Then we are defining upload file detect object search image. Lastly, we are making a button one button two which is to upload image and submit image then we are stopping the whole code now i will run and show you my output as you can see this is my output with the pink background bold shape detection title upload image and submit statement. These are the two buttons I was referring to you earlier. Now I will upload the image. As you can see, I am uploading an image with most of the shapes here. Now you might be wondering, why hasn't the shape been detected? It will only be detected after I hit the submit button. So let's do that. As you can see, all the shapes are detected. A special word of thanks to all my mentors, teachers, Mr. Ken Khan, and everyone who has supported me throughout this journey. Thank you.